After finishing the season 9-1 and one and winning the AFC East, the Chinese QB is leading the hottest NFL team into the playoffs. Getting used to the NFL was hard at first, but he eventually adapted, becoming a pro bowler in just his rookie year amongst the AFC, which has some of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. But now we are in the NFL playoffs trying to win a Super Bowl. This is every kid's dream when they pick up a football. Can I become the first Chinese man to hoist the Lombardi? We shall find out as we face the 6C Las Vegas Raiders in the wild card game. Chase Edmonds is getting everyone hype on the sideline. He's getting a little too aggressive for Tyreek Hill. But before we get into the live gameplay, I want to thank our sponsors, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a turn-based RPG that is free to play on mobile and PC. Collect and select from hundreds of champions, equip and upgrade each with different artifacts, skills, and masteries, and engage in battles. I've been playing Raid Shadow Legends, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, this game is actually really fun. My main champion is my girl, Elaine. I got her at level 20. But the reason she's my favorite is because of her skill, the Valley of Death. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about right now. I'm in a dungeon battle right now. Let me show y'all the Valley of Death. Ah! Ah! One shot. That's why she's my main champion. Now, Raid is a new Valentine's Day themed adventure called the Raid Love Quest. Once you've signed up, copy your in-game player ID and head to this website right here. Enter your player ID on the website before March 14th and play one of the Valentine's themed mini games for a chance to win some in-game and real life prizes, which includes Valentine's Day themed Raid champions and Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. If you're an existing player on Raid, use code SAINTVALENTINE23 to get yourself a Valentine's gift as well. All need to do is download raid from the links down below or scan this QR code you get a free starter pack of $30 worth of in-game loot once you're on raid you can find me in game all right hefe ya mom click the link in the description I'll see you in game now let's get back into the video here we go first throw of the game is complete to Waddle and I get rocked by Chandler Jones roughing the passer's call second throw of the game nice ball fizzled into the open area to Jalen Waddle once again he starts out the game hot so I'm looking for him again on a deep curl but Trayvon Mullen makes an excellent play on the ball and we start with an interception on our first drive that is not something fans want to see a rookie quarterback with butterflies in his first career NFL playoff game but after Vegas turns the ball over in their own half we score a touchdown off the boot like to Law? I've never seen this guy in my life. Middle of the second quarter. It is 14 to 3. We are stuck on third and 23. I need to make some Chinese magic happen to get a first down. I need some Asian persuasion. So I'm rolling out to my left. Buying time. I tell said Wilson to go upfield. So I huck it at him. But then Chase Edmonds goes up and grabs it. That ball wasn't even for him. Third and 23. He bosses two defenders. That catch juiced the team up as I maneuver in the pocket to find Preston Williams for our second passing touchdown of the day. 20 one to three offense has been moving the ball very well since the interception play action i see that gasicki has a size mismatch so i'm gonna lob it up ridiculous catch by gasicki coach mcdaniel cooked a fantastic play to get gasicki on a mismatch and he just had to do the rest and the drive off with a pitch to miles gaskin to put us up 28 to three with the raiders double dip coming out of half and all of a sudden it's a two possession game what kind of script is the nfl cooking here uh, i don't like it huge third and ten here to Fend off the momentum. I don't see anyone open, so I take off. I just gotta beat Chandler Jones to the marker, and I tiptoe my way to a clutch first down. Very next play, Raiders line up in cover two. So according to my mathematical calculations, if there is no linebacker dropping back in the middle third, and the Pythagoras theorem is proven, then a high point ball to my main man, Sticky Gasicki, should result in a touchdown. Offense explodes here, and we win our first career playoff game, 35 to 20. What a performance by the Chinese man. He killed off all the doubters with. 329 yards and three touchdowns as the Dolphins dominated both in the air and on the ground. That is the Dolphins' first playoff win since the year 2000. Finns fans can rejoice. But not for long as we face the matchup of our life. AFC divisional round against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. The best quarterback in the league is going head to head against the Chinese man. This is also Tyreek Hill's revenge game. All right, we wanted to win this one for him more than anyone. But unless someone from China ever becomes a starting QB for an NFL franchise, this is probably the only time you'll ever see Patrick Mahomes take on a Chinese man in a game of American football. And it is all for a chance to move on to the AFC Championship game. 
game. After getting backed up to the one yard line off of a punt, we build together a long drive. Which ends off with a left corner bullet to who else? Tyreek Hill on his former team. Beautiful throw right on the money. But Mahomes responds with a touchdown to Kelsey right away, and it's 7 7. Second and 11. I see that one on one for Waddle is a possibility. I don't usually match up Hunt with Waddle since he's a shorter receiver, but he balled last game. So I wanted to give him a chance on the jump ball, and he comes down with it. Jalen Waddle on Legereus Needs' head. Dolphins back on top. This time defense gets a stop. It is time to pull ahead of this game. First and 10. The safety follows Sid Wilson. Tyreek Hill is uncovered. I cannot believe it. He is wide open. Second touchdown of the day for Tyreek. Andy Reid has no clue how that happened. That is way too easy. But Kelsey gets one right back. And uh, yeah, the Chiefs aren't going anywhere. Second half is here. This is set up for a classic old-fashioned shootout. We gotta keep scoring to stay ahead because Mahomes can come back from any deficit. First play of the second half is an RPO, and I make the wrong read. Interception. My first big mistake of the game. Xavier is sick of me. He's not eating dim sum for at least a month after that pick, but thankfully defense bails me out and holds them to a field goal. I gotta be better. First and 10 in Chiefs territory here. I find Tyreek Hill on the in route, and he continues to come. As we move into the opponent's red zone, Mahomes is terrified of the Chinese QB. First and goal, I'm rolling out to my right. This dude is just watching me, and that's an easy walk-in touchdown. What a game by the Chinese man. No lead is safe against Mahomes, I know, but the Finns are looking good. Good here late in the fourth. After running the ball twice, draining the clock down, we are throwing as we are approaching the two minute warning. Daniel calls a pass play. I'm rolling out to my left. I get hit. I stumble on my feet and I get sacked in the end zone. It is a safety. All of a sudden, Mahomes has two minutes to win the game. This is worst case scenario. And of of course he takes advantage, finding Kelsey in under a minute for his third touchdown of the game. Wow. So now fourth quarter, 59 seconds left, down by one season on the line. We have three timeouts. We need a field goal to beat Patrick Mahomes. I screwed this game up myself by taking that sack. I need to go down the field and win the game back. First play, I'm rushing out to my right, and I pick up a first down. I get out of bounds. I'm over 100 yards on the ground today. Second play of the drive. Verticals concept. I hit Kasiki over the middle on the drag for nine yards. Dolphins use their first timeout. Second and one at midfield. Chiefs send the blitz. I know it's man coverage. I find Waddle wide open over the middle for a huge game, which results in a Chiefs timeout. First and 10 from here, it'd be a 51 yard field goal. So we gotta get a couple more yards. I hit Waddle on the hook route for a gain of six. McDaniel chooses not to use another timeout here. And I almost get hit with the EA Chiefs. Holy. I call a quick one myself. If we lost that game because of that, I would have been pissed. All right. I almost saw my life flash away there. We set up a 46 yard field goal for Jason Sanders to send us to the AFC Championship game! He hits it! And we defeat the Chiefs in the divisional round! I take down Patrick Mahomes! This is my best career win as we drive all the way down at the end to send the Chiefs home! I outplayed Pat Mahomes throwing for more yards and the same amount of touchdowns and I led all rushers in rushing yards. Tyreek had 8 receptions for 159 and 2 touchdowns. Waddle had 6 and 128 this is the best receiving duo in the NFL. And McDaniel takes down Andy Reid. We are moving on to the AFC Championship game in our rookie season. This is some like Tom Brady-esque storyline that is going on. Can the Chinese man continue his Cinderella run? As we face Justin Herbert and the 7 seed Chargers. Who took down both the 2 seed Ravens and the 1 seed Broncos. We gotta be careful. This is one of the most dangerous teams in the AFC. We have already beaten them in the regular season once. It's harder to beat a team twice. Herbert is a 97. Eckler is a 93. And they have the best wide receiver trio in the NFL. With Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, and Odell Beckham Jr. Defense has a lot on their hands, but here we go. Last home game of our year in front of the Miami fans. Can we send the Dolphins to the Super Bowl for the first time since 1985? According to my math, that is 38 years, all right? Huge third and two on the first drive of the game. I'm dropping back. I'm looking for receivers, but I see an open lane on my right side. So I take off. Who wants to step up and tackle the Chinese man? I beat Asante Samuel to the pylon. God damn. 
Damn, that's a fatty. Chargers can't respond, and we are back on our own 20. I gotta stop making fat jokes. Out of shotgun, I see Tyreek Hill one-on-one. -on -one. He's gonna step, so I rope the ball over for a huge game. And two plays is all it takes as I throw the best ball of my playoff run. Asante Samuel versus Mike Gesicki is just not fair at all. That is right in the basket, and the Dolphins are off to a hot start once again. However, Odell catches a touchdown after an Eric Ebron masterclass, which just made my knees weak. I, I cannot believe our defense just got toasted by Ebron. Start of the second quarter, and ladies and gentlemen, McDaniel is in the kitchen. I don't think I've ever seen this play before. When the hell did he install this? But I keep seeing this matchup between Asante Samuel and Gesicki. The size advantage is just too big to not throw this ball. Next play in the red zone. Great feel for the pocket here. I'm running out when the kitchen's hot, and it's just green grass ahead. Touchdown, half side, and let me see you walk on you fools. What an offensive display so far first and 10 i see tyreek running a disgusting out and post route then i see one-on-one -on -one. then i see it's a white db it doesn't really look that open but all the boxes are checked off so i had to throw it up and oh my god that might be catch of the year what a snag by tyreek hill and after scoring another walk-in touchdown and finding tyreek hill but naked deep for a touchdown. The Miami Dolphins have 35 points in the first half. The viewers are turning this one off, ladies and gentlemen. 320 passing yards, five touchdowns, two incompletions for the Chinese man. And it's only halftime of the AFC Championship game. And this lead was too much for the Chargers to overcome as they could not pull within one possession the rest of the game. And we defeat the Chargers 45 to 34 in the AFC Championship game. Two make the Super Bowl in our rookie year. I wanted to make it onto the national stage so badly as a Chinese QB and represent my people the right way, which led to me throwing for 441 and two touchdowns, with 97 yards on the ground and three touchdowns. So now it is time to play the biggest game in all of football. A Chinese QB has officially made the Super Bowl. All of my grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins are all getting flown out to see me play football for the very first time live. Everyone came over to have one last hot pot dinner to wish me good luck for the big game and my mom did the toast. Son, I'm really proud of you. You work hard for this moment. You, you have changed lives and inspired so many kids around the world. But if you don't bring home the Super Bowl, no food two weeks, okay? Figure it out. But after dinner with my entire family, we had to practice hard to prepare for the Bucks defense. The top ranked defense in the league had relentless pressure against opposing teams. And with Levante David, Vita Vea, Winfield, Barrett, Devin White, all 90 plus on their defense, we needed to game plan well. After watching all the film and doing media prep, we have arrived in Arizona hours before the game and I am taking in the stadium. What a life I have lived to get to this point. From all the scrutiny I faced choosing to play football in college without telling my mom, transferring out of Stanford engineering to pursue football, being a lottery pick as a Chinese quarterback, and now I'm in the Super Bowl in my rookie year playing in an all-Florida matchup against the GOAT, Tom Brady. We win the coin toss and here we go. Super Bowl finals. Time to ball on the biggest stage. First throw of the night. Comes at third and five. We pick up seven yards with a drag to Gesicki. First and ten. Bucks drop eight in coverage but I find the hole in the zone with a nice out route read to Tyreek. And we move across midfield here. I see Tyreek has a step on his man. So I dart it over there but Winfield makes a great play on the ball. Terrible read. I thought it was one on one but I get lurked. Thankfully though the defense bails me out with a stop on Brady and we come out to a third and two. But Daniel wants play action but it gets sacked by Shaq Barrett. He is screaming off the edge. Not a good start for both offenses as it is still a 0-0 game in the middle of the second quarter. Can we get a scoring drive going here? Play action pass. I fizzle a ball right by the defender's ear. Second and three. I drop back and I find the crosser yet again. This time to said Wilson. Dolphins in the red zone. First and ten. I see a mismatch on Gasicki. 
but he is unable to come down with the ball. Big third down here. Can we keep the drive alive? I find Waddle on the whip route. I lead him forward. He reaches for the end zone. And he is just short on the one yard line. But that is okay because on first and goal, we run it inside zone to Chase Edmonds. Touchdown, Dolphins. We challenge the almighty D-line and get rewarded for it. All right, seven point lead to start the Super Bowl in Arizona. After yet another stop by our defense, we are back to get more points before half. I'm rolling out to my right. I see a wide open Waddle. So I throw it up, but I make it hard on him, and he still comes down with a spectacular catch over Carlton Davis, which leads to first and goal. With over 40 seconds left, I'm rolling to my left, trying to get the edge to rush in the end zone, but I take a terrible sack to Shaq Barrett. 10 seconds left. Last play before half. We are trying to put up six. Going into the locker room via via bow rushes, so I know I have the outside. No spy once again. Let me do my dance. The Chinese man is here to ball. And we are up 14 to 0 at halftime in the Super Bowl. However, if everyone could bet money on one quarterback coming back in a Super Bowl, it would be Tom Brady. And TB12 strikes out of half to keep it close at a seven point game. We gotta slow the momentum change. Gotta be careful here. But I take a sack to Keem Hicks for a loss of eight. Pass protection has been a problem all night long. Second down. I'm trying to buy some time for my receivers. But they can't get open. Second sack in a row. And after a failed screen to Chase Edmonds on third and 19, we must punt the ball to Tampa Bay. And of course, of course, of course, Tom Brady capitalizes with a touchdown. So now now it is 14-14 tie game. Fourth quarter in the Super Bowl against the GOAT. It doesn't get any better than this, ladies and gentlemen. Can we bring home the Lombardi? Second and one, we run a play fake, and this Bucks pass rush is immense. I take a shot to my chin, but luckily got the ball out. But after we pick up the first on a run to Chase Edmonds, I see the Bucks line up in cover two. I like the look of this. Levante David, you're not backpedaling fast enough, sir. So I dart it over the middle. Big play to Gesicki. And on top of that, Winfield gets call for the face mask which adds another 15 yards so all of a sudden we are in the buccaneers red zone we must cash in second and four i'm looking for the dagger throw i rope it to my right side but said wilson can't get his toes in bounds incomplete third and four biggest play of the game i'm looking for the kill shot once again looking in the end zone but said can't come down with it so we must settle for a field goal which just is not enough when you are playing against Tom Brady, all right? He capitalizes with a touchdown drive. And just like that, we are down by four. I have not played my best game at all, but everything can change in 2.05. All I need is to get a touchdown to win the Super Bowl. These are moments you dream of having when you were a kid. One drive to go for all the marbles. I have a chance to fulfill my dream. Will I take advantage or will I let it slip? Here we go. First play of the drive. I'm moving to my left in the pocket i look for the seven round and i get picked off levante david with the interception grave mistake by the chinese man did the moment get too big for him i crumbled under all the pressure once again defense can't get the stop tom brady kneels it out and I'm not getting fed for weeks. I had one drive, one chance to win the Super Bowl in my rookie year, and I did not take advantage. I did not have a great game at all compared to all my previous playoff games. I choked on the biggest stage. I wasn't able to perform in the biggest moments, and we lose the Super Bowl. I clearly get outplayed by Tom Brady. Interception on the game-winning drive. What a terrible way to end my rookie year. Shaq Barrett wins Super Bowl MVP. And that concludes my rookie season in the NFL. Dolphins fans are outraged at my Super Bowl performance and are even protesting for a QB change. All they will remember is that interception, all right? The interception that lost them the Super Bowl. What will happen in the offseason? Will I get moved to a different team? Or will the franchise stick with the Chinese man under center? We will find out in the next episode.